Hi everyone out there again, it's Dr. Roberto Mickey and we've got a great video today on why every hand surgeon should carry dental floss. Our patient today had a swollen hand from an inflammatory process and couldn't get his ring off so he asked us to remove it. A quick plug for the channel, hit like and subscribe and help out our channel so that we can continue making these videos. So the technique I'm going to show here in this video is very simple and there are many ways of getting a ring off of a swollen finger but this is my favorite technique and the one I use in my office. And in fact I learned this technique from my grandfather who taught me how to do it well back in the day using some fishing line. So this technique is very simple. You basically pass the dental floss beneath the ring and I like to clamp it on the proximal side of the ring and then I wrap the dental floss on the distal side of the ring basically squeezing all of the edema out of the finger. And you'll see that the ring literally follows the string forward, going more and more distal along the finger. And you keep doing this and you keep wrapping and keep wrapping until you sort of run out of string and or dental floss. And then you pull on the proximal end and you can see that the ring will follow the string basically distally. And you can use many different materials. I've seen dental floss, I've seen suture, I've seen vessel loops. I've seen just regular string used for this, and I think any of these techniques work. The other option that you have in the operating room or in the emergency room is to use the ring cutter. The problem with the ring cutters is that they damage the ring and then the person has to go to a jeweler to have her repaired. The other potential problem is that with these devices, there's a little guard that needs to go underneath the ring. And sometimes when the finger is really, really swollen, you can't get that guard underneath the ring. A third problem with the ring cutters is that if you have a female, for example, with a ring with diamonds that are encrusted all the way around the ring, and you try to use one of those ring cutters, you're going to lose a bunch of stones, or you can potentially damage some of those stones. Another limitation of the ring cutters is that nowadays people are using harder metals for these rings, and they're no longer gold, and sometimes the ring cutters will actually take a long, long time to cut through the harder material. An additional thing that you can do for the patient, and we actually do this for this patient, is actually inject a little bit of lidocaine into a digital nerve block. That's why I see the sudden change in the background in this part of the video because we injected him because he felt like he was not tolerating it well enough and so the nerve block helped him tolerate the rest of the wrapping of the finger. So I think this technique is great um, and hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, we're almost at the end of the video here. I think that this technique is probably useful for anybody who works in an emergency room, an operating room, who's a hand surgeon or even any orthopedic surgeon who works in the upper extremity. Uh, because you're going to have patients who get swollen and then require that their rings be taken off. And if you don't have a ring cutter, this is a great option. Even if you have a ring cutter, this is probably a good option. Uh, and you can see here, we're going to pop this ring off right now. And uh, uh, it worked well and the patient was super happy. Hope you liked the video. Be safe out there and we'll see you at the next one.